Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Yeah, of course. What's up? So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. <laughs> but real sweet. What's going on, guys? Back at it again with another Outer Worlds video. So, where we last left off, we were actually here on, uh, what's it called? Breaker or something? Breaker? Uh, Groundbreaker? And we ended up finding Ellie, and we made it a priority to make sure we get her, because I've been wanting to get her since the trailers uh, back in E3 whenever this game got announced. I think it was like 2017 or something like that, 2018. I don't even remember when this game got announced, but I've been waiting to get her since this game got announced. I think it was 2018, actually. But now that we have her, we finally get the quest with her. It's her and Pravati that I have on. Pravati actually has a nice little outfit. I want to get something better for her, though. And we need to find one for Ellie. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go. First things first, I need to level up. I think I'm just gonna put this into dialogue. I know right now I already have all of my ranged at 50, which is pretty much where I wanted it. I don't really want to go any higher than that. Um, I think I'm just gonna put it into leadership. Let me see. Okay, so if I put this... Okay, so they're already at 40, so companions get 20% armor rating. So that's a good thing. Um, uh, let's see when when companions kill an enemy, all companions ability. I'm not sure if inspiration is worth it to go any higher than this, because 60 companion skill bonuses uh, to players skills plus 100 percent. So that's decent. Uh, expert is inspired precision, uh, pre precision. When companions kill an enemy, the party gains critical hit chance 20% for 5 seconds. I mean, that's not bad, but it's not amazing either. But we do have 3 people, uh, uh, if you include me, so... Uh, but that's only when a companion kills. I don't know. And then, of course, the last one is Master... When companions kill an enemy, all companions' ability cooldowns minus 20%. I don't really use cooldowns except to initiate a fight, so that one's definitely worthless to me. So, determination. Uh, companion critical. I wonder if it stacks with this one, because this one, uh, the critical hit chance is 20% 20, 20 for 5 seconds. This one's another 20 per... Uh, well, I could put a couple of points in here just to get it to 40 so 60 they gain 25% of inhalers healing effect so that's really good if a companion is downed party gains 50% armor rating and damage that's really good when companions kill an enemy they gain 50% health you know determination is where to go I think I'm gonna put it all in determination to be honest Alrighty, let's go ahead and get that. And Ellie, I think she's got to level up. Oh, cool, she's got a pretty good loadout, actually. I think we could do better for her, though. Let's go ahead and level her up. Increase your medical skills. Okay. Decrease the amount of threat this companion generates. I think I prefer her to be sneaky and then have Parvati initiate the fight. Increase the amount of threat. No, I don't want to do that. Increase this companion's maximum health. I think health is a priority. And then I'm going to go with sneaky after that. <clears throat> okay. 
Alrighty, now that we have that, let's see what missions we need to do. Alright, so yeah, I forgot that the last video we actually had a ton of missions that we had found here on Groundbreaker. So let's see. Main quest, passenger everywhere. Alright, let's let's go find Gladys. So she's over here. Oh, I'm stuck. Plus another one of our missions. Comfy, but you'll want to check the mattress before you settle in. Okay then. There she is. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Uh, Made without a single that. natural ingredient or an oven, just like store bought. Uh, Phineas sent me. He said you could tell me how uh, how to get a nav key to Stellar Bay. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control, for the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key, and they're hard to come by these days. Let me it guess. won't be cheap. I knew it. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Well, I'm definitely, definitely short on money. So tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms. Uh, no qualms here. Let's hear the details. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Edna mode. Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Huh. Why was Roseway abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Wonder what kind of haul they left behind. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer well, than I'll get Well, that was a pretty out. obvious statement. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Uh... Say no more. I'm in. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corps fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Uh, abandoned outpost. <coughs> Excuse me. Abandoned outpost. Corporate secrets. Got it. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Will do. What other jobs do you know about? Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreakers Chief. I already did that. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. <laughs> I don't know, ma'am. She seemed pretty neat to me. Oh, that's cool. Well, aren't you sweet? And just her type, too. <laughs> what? What's that supposed to mean? Forget I said anything. I wonder if she meant, like... Like in a... Like if if that other girl, Junlei, is either gay or if she meant, like, in a manipulative way that she's a sweetheart so she could manipulate her pretty easily. It's interesting. Let's see. I would talk about that opportunity you mentioned. Uh, let, let's see what she's got to trade. I found a handsome ceramic manta pillar at a salvage auction last week. Oh, she's got a... I don't have any. Maybe I can sell her stuff. Because this would be a good pistol for... Um, for Parvati. Because this is the kind of pistol she came with. 
Let me see. Sell. Let's sell a bunch of stuff that I don't need. So... Weapon parts. Might need that. Let's sell food. I don't really need food, do I? You know what? Z sell all junk. How much money do I got? 1600 How much is the thing? Oh, I'm not even close. Alright, let's see. Sell. We're gonna sell all the food. Okay, accept. What is this? You guys are probably watching like, oh my god. Don't sell all that stuff. But I want that pistol. It's not even giving me anything. I'm gonna sell it anyways, but you know what? I'm gonna sell these guns too. Armor parts, I don't need that. <clears throat> Let me see. That looks like one of those drugs for my inhaler. I'm gonna sell the guns first. All right, let's sell that. Okay, I need that. So let's see. Let's see here. Okay, that's Parvati's old hammer. Let's sell that. Definitely selling that pistol. That. Well, there's a lot of junk that I didn't need really. And I'm still extremely short. Sell some apples or whatever that was. No, I think we're good. So, at least I know that she's got a pistol here for sale. I want that pistol though. <clears throat> also, I'm a little bit sick, so if you hear me clearing my throat, I apologize in advance. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. <laughs> Sorry. Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. Um, what kind of business, uh, have you and Gladys got running? Didn't quite catch that. Uh, you'll have to speak up. Business. What do you and Gladys do here? Glass ear? Sorry, there, there's a lot of static on my end. <laughs> but I'm standing right here, dude. Nothing to fear. Uh, sorry again. The sound of Groundbreaker's engines has really got to me over the years. Oh my god. I'm done. Are you just pretending you can't hear me so you can uh so you don't have to answer my questions? Huh? What? Forget it. Huh. Now that I heard. That bastard's faking it. How's life on the Groundbreaker? Fine as long as the board keeps its grubby mitts to itself. Chief Tennyson holds the ship together, the promenade holds our economy together, and Sublight is the shoddy jewel in our rusty old crown. Uh, how does the Groundbreaker keep the board at bay? Our Chief Tennyson has an independent streak, same as her mother and grandmother who rode this ship on the crossing. There's a reason the board's embassy is a glorified shoebox. While Junlei Tennyson lives and breathes, Groundbreaker remains free. Very nice. You mentioned Sublight? Our local garbage collectors. That Lilia Hagen never met a debris field she didn't like. She freely admits she planted her roots in Groundbreaker to escape board oversight. But I think there's more to it. She's unusual in the head, that one. Uh, do you do business with the Parmaid merchants? Of course. Most of our supplies come and go through merchants. Company ships and salvage runs are the only traffic we tend to get. I try and steer clear of that creepy fellow in the moon mask. If there's a cost to being a company man, he paid it in spades. All right, I'll be on my way then. 
All right, let's see. Let's check these things. Maybe there's legendaries on here. No. <clears throat> there is not. Ooh, that one's gold and red. So I will say there's just a lot of variation. Look at that. That one's pink. That's cool. This is a ha uh, hacking bonus. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that... Okay, this is science plus three. That's really cool. What is that? Exacto site? Okay, cool. Why is it locked? I wonder why it's locked. Is it because I can't afford it? It says restricted stock. Cannot purchase restricted stock. Why even offer it to me then? Wait, hold on. Let's check uh, Ellie's outfit. I want to see what it, what bonuses it gives her. Tech skills. She's a techie too? Alrighty. Wait a minute. Great law, is it hot in Oh wait, you know what? Here. Or is it just my glands acting up again? Let's go ahead and get out of here. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Oh, she gave me here. purple berry Take bunch. A candy with you. Very nice. What we need to do is change our mission, though, because we need to do something for her in order to be able to do that. But I need one, uh, what is it, 10,000 bits. So for now, let's go ahead and solve this whole groundbreaker heater situation with Jun Lei. Did I activate it? No, I didn't. There we go. Let's uh, find out. I think we have to find some mortars or some, like generator parts or something so we can fix the heater for June Lei. Is there an elevator? Have you seen this man? Nope. I have not seen this man. There we go. Captain McReed? Wait, he's a bad guy? Were you expecting any company? We're doing this. Here goes nothing. We could do this. Get away from me! It's a robot. I got they got him. What happened to the boss man? Oh god. Where are they at? Damn, they destroyed no him. Feelings, okay? That's what I'm talking about. Let's check M Captain McGreed. He actually had a name. McGreed's lighter. Cartridge. Crap, I don't even know what I just took. Wait, he had a legendary weapon. What the hell is this? That's awesome. Dude, that's so cool. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to use that. Oh my god. Smells kind of like I think you right up. Let's do this. Oh, it charges? I have no idea what I'm doing here. Uh, it shoots extremely weird. It's not bad though, and Let me see. Let me see the specs behind this. I'm not sure if I like it. So, it does energy damage. It stuns. It's a heavy weapon. Damage 38. A lock-on flamethrower. And it burns at almost 506 Kelvin. 506 isn't that... Uh, I don't know. It sounds familiar. 506 Kelvin. Uh, I'm not sure if I like it. Damage type plasma, though. What do I have on per body? Inventory. Well, you know what? I think... 34, 38. This is better. Let's give her that gun. Even though I want to give her the pistol instead. 
All right, so where are we supposed to go? I think we have to find a way upstairs. All right, let's go down here first. Oh, hello. I thought she was going to attack me. I haven't seen me. any new faces down here since I arrived. Not sure how long ago that was. McGred tends to incinerate anyone who comes by. He's dead. McGred's dead. Ah, that's too bad. I mean, he was a scary fucker, total pyromaniac, but... Yeah, I noticed. You know how it is. You meet a guy, get used to his quirks, and then blam. Uh, I mean, I don't know how it is, but... Alrighty. I came to grab some radiator parts. Uh, engineering could use your help installing them. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. Does that mean we completed the mission? Um. I don't wanna, I don't really like stealing stuff. I know in this game you should steal because it can give you money because there's no like stolen tag on it. But, I don't know, I just don't like doing that. What the hell? There was somebody there and disappeared. You guys saw that? Very nice, very nice. Okay. Wait, is this where I came from? It is, it is. I'm going backwards. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, I've got a crouch. What is going on right now? Oh, there it goes. I forgot I can it's take backwards. A hint. Now this, I don't know why it's tagged to stolen. Or steal, I mean. Oh, I could have just bypassed all the fighting. Huh. Let me see. Oh, I made it. That is awesome. <laughs> I guess I could have just came upstairs, uh, oh well. You bought the special stash again, haven't you? Where are they at? I see in there. Here we go. I don't like that it does that animation every time. Was that everybody? Sentry saber. Okay, I'll take it, but I'm probably gonna sell it. Ooh. What do you say we get out of here before we join whoever that was on the grill? Or I could just kill everybody. Yeah, that was it. It was a little <laughs> loop. So let's go talk to Jun Lei and complete this mission. A ring. I like how your companions don't even care if you steal stuff. <laughs> Alrighty. How do I get to Junlei again? Hello. That's the clothing store. That's Auntie Cleo's. It should be under engineering, but where's engineering? It's not medical bay. Oh, it's stupid literally right right next to me June Lei, I got some for you you've returned and in one piece color me impressed uh I got parts for the radiator what now good work I'll take those I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering take the elevator down into the machinery shaft there's a terminal in the back activate it when I call over the ship's PA and bring weapons. There's a slight mantipillar infestation. What the hell's a mantipillar? Uh, define slight. <laughs> More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Oh crap! Alrighty. Uh. I got your parts. Why do I have to go to some maintenance shaft? 
If every repair was a one-woman job, I wouldn't need an engineering team. Yeah, touche. As it is, my staff is busy keeping the station from melting down. You can flip a switch for me, but you can't install these parts. Not quickly, at least. Not on the first try. Able, though, you've proven to be. You know what? I like her. She's a sweetheart. And she's sassy a little bit. All right, but um, I'll make my way down there then. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. Absolutely. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. <laughs> I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. I really love these, in, like, interactions they get together. That's freaking awesome. So, do I... Is there, like, an entrance through here? Why, yes, there is. My two homegirls. She looks like... I'm telling you, she looks like Scarlett Johansson. I don't know why, but she looks like Scarlett Johansson. Ah! I couldn't even hear Junlei talk. It's so loud in here. Where are they? Probably upstairs. Let's go. There they are. Oh! Oh! That's the last of them. That was freaking scary. That wasn't that bad. Hell yeah. You know, I like being a pistol man. I want a good rifle though. Good news. Strong help from the security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of mantis. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about shooting. Sneak fast if you can. Shoot back if you need to. I can always fix them later. Shoot back, it definitely is. Processing. Uh -oh. She is seriously a badass. I don't see myself getting rid of Parvati anytime soon, man. She's fucking awesome. Unless we find a better. Well, her, her special isn't that good. Ah, you robot. Let's see, where do I have to go anyways? Look at her. Go ahead and cycle the droplet pump. If this... you don't know what that means, just look for a command that says cycle droplet pumps. This is definitely her gun, dude. I'm not taking that away from her. <laughs> At least not until I get her pistol. Uh, I think she says something about that. Fix the radiator. Woohoo! Let's go. Done. The temperatures are dropping. Stop by once you found your way out of here. Hell yeah, boys! We fixed it. So we came initially up through here. So let's go over here and actually get on to the elevator again, so we can go away. Or at least get out of here. What are you staring at, Ellie? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Where's, where's uh, June Lei? She's up here, I believe. This is Halcyon News. We June Lei, I got amazing news for you. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts. But you're all right. Why, thank you. The you're all right, too. The should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. That'll be moi. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. Edna I've also mode. authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Oh, very nice. Uh, what's it like being a commander around here? Frustrating. I Everything bet. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death <laughs> decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Makes sense. So this ship is a family business? Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. 
My grandmother, Chief Gayen, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Damn. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. Yeah, I'm sure. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Uh, was it a big change, that trans uh, transition to command? It was different knowing that I couldn't turn to anyone who could answer the tough questions for me. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. Oh, absolutely. This ship is family. I get it. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. Uh... Parvati here could always help you shoulder the burden. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. So I, I can actually get her to stay here? I don't know if I want to do that, though. Uh, Aren't you a little young to be training a successor, though? You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. Why... Why can't she just have a bait? I, I think she may be gay, dude. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, uh, I mean, she's a female. She could always have children. But it doesn't sound like she wants children. And that one comment that that other lady made kind of made it seem like she was either manipulative which i don't get that vibe from her whatsoever or like she might be gay or something which is cool no problem no issues there so uh where's the self-destruct mechanism <laughs> no way i hope that was a joke captain i really do <laughs> i yelled at that thing years ago now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than nan or spank family recipe <laughs> oh, back to the questions it You've is got my attention uh, you don't have a lot of faith in the board, do you? You're right. I don't. The board is after two things. Bits and power. And they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. I believe that. Uh, you must not like Udom Bedford very much. I like to think of myself as a nice person. Yeah, you are. But if that gaudy embassy of his was on fire, I might hold my breath a moment before activating the sprinkler system. <laughs> the board wants control over Groundbreaker, and leeches like Udon Bedford will do anything to please their corporate masters. That was funny. Uh, how do you keep the board at a safe distance? I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. Okay. Back to other questions, then. You've got my attention. Uh, well, we'll be on our way. And we gotta level up. Alright, let's see. Skills. I'm gonna put this back into determination. I really want to max determination. Whoops. Up. Oh. Wait, wait, what happened? I guess I already got it. All right, so we got a perk here. What can we do? I think I think carry weight would be... Where, I think it's this one. Pack mule, carrying capacity plus. But I haven't had a problem with inventory yet. So let's see. No, definitely not lone wolf. Uh, They're not slow. You're just fast. <laughs> High maintenance, take better care of your weapons and armor, okay. Vendors and vending machines have additional ammo, ammo, consumables, and general items available. This effect will happen the next time at a vendor or vending machines restock. Okay, so pack mule is definitely up there. TTD recharges faster traveler. You've become vision fast travel while encumbered. That's not bad, but 
Vendor prices. I haven't had a need for a pack mule yet, so I think I'm just gonna go. I think I'm just gonna go with a negotiator. And I unlocked tier two. Cool. All right, let's level up Parvati. So engine, I might actually do the bonuses or whatever since I'm trying to become like a dialogue person and then trying to have them carry me. So let's see, sneaky, no. <gasps> Oh, excuse me. Although max health does seem pretty good. Let's see what's over here. Ranged weapons. Okay. I feel like I need that. Base armor rating. Damn, this is good. And especially, oh man, oh, I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to go with health first. And then I'm going to start specking down here. Alright, and then Ellie, let's go ahead and level her up. Looks like she's got the same stuff. Bolstress, no. Sneaky, actually, you know what, I don't really need those for her. So let's go with weapon damage for her. Huh. I think I'm going to go with weapon damage. No. Wait, what is this? Increase the amount of health received from your inhaler when Ellie is in the party. That's not bad, actually. I think I'm going to go with this, though. Well, done there. <clears throat> so, it looks like we got to go back to Gladys. I don't think we've gotten 10,000 caps yet, though. Or, not caps, but... Whatever. So, what is this? Um, Lydia Hagen has a lucrative contract for a captain... With access to Speller, Stellar Bay, which I don't have access to Stellar Bay yet, so that's out of the mat, out of the thing. I I kind of want to do this, but I need to get rid of my one of my companions first, which I don't want to do just yet. I'll probably do that one last. Return to the unreliable and ask Parvati about Junlei. Thanks to your introduction, Parvati and Junlei hit it off. Check in with Parvati back on the ship to see how things are progressing between the two of them. I'll do that right when I'm about to leave, actually. You found a defunct situation and maintenance auto mechanical in the supply closet upstairs in the unreliable. A courtesy search of the unit revealed the name Sam, but little else. Ada may know more. Yeah, I knew that robot was a companion. But that's back in the thing. Alright, side quests. Uh, Edgewater. Thomas said he knows at least one volume. Oh, okay. That's the boyfriend, right? Okay. Corporate Wheeler at Ground Breaker Customs asked you to update in the sick bay with the status of a ship. We might actually do that. So let's see. This is the mission that I need for the other thing. So let's go ahead and do this really quick before we go over there. This is Halcyon. This is for the guard that's in the front. Wait, how do I get there? It's in the sick bay, I believe, the where I found Ellie. There we go. Excuse me, I need your assistance. Oh, there you are. Well, well, Dr. Fenhill. It's not often I see you on this side of sick bay. <laughs> I make it a point not to get shot, and when I do, I can usually take care of the mess myself. Very nice. It'd be nice to have you in here patching people up, not just blowing them apart. I respect what you're doing here, but you know I'm not ready to settle down. It's not you, it's me. Have it your way then. You always do. Now, about your friend here. Can't say I've seen you before. 
I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Very nice. So let's see. Wheeler told me to tell you uh, to get off his ass about your shipment. <laughs> no, he was he wasn't he wasn't a bad dude. I'm not gonna do him like that. Uh, Wheeler says your shipment won't be coming in soon. Uh, what's going on? I'm expecting our delivery fellow to stop through with medical supplies and service auto mechanicals. Name's Captain Erion. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. Easy on the eyes, soft in the skull. <laughs> a real danger to the gene pool. You're not wrong. But that's neither here nor there. I take it he's a handsome guy? Uh, I could try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. There's so many quests that I got on the Groundbreaker, taking me all kinds of places. Well, since I have to come back later, um... I'm probably going to do the distress signal first. Because this is taking me to another world. Uh, on Scalia. Or whatever it's called. So I think we're done here. Actually. How much money do I have? Character. No. Inventory. How do I check my money? Is this it? Nope. Does junk. Money, 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 money. Wait, when did I get these glasses? I have no idea when I got these glasses, but okay, I'll take them. <clears throat> I'm not sure how much money I have. Oh, it's up here. Oh, so close to getting all the bits I need. At least we know it's not hard to get money. Let's go back to the ship. Wait, let me talk to this dude. Hey there, Captain. Anything I can do for you? Let me see if he's got dialogue. No, he doesn't. Okay. Be seeing you. Thank you, thank you. McCred? Isn't that the guy I killed? Contact Commandant Santini. If you have any information... Whereabouts failure to imprison proof of kill. So where is... Can I turn that in? Also, do I have a mission for that? Um... Let me see. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be security, maybe? Whoa. So that won't be going to happen. Okay, it doesn't look like I can turn it in very easily. Margaret, talk to me. Huh? Move along. Oh, stop it. All right, let's go then. So, there was a bounty there. I just don't know who to turn in the bounty to. Because I killed McCred. Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? My cargo's worth a lot of money. All right, let's go. Hey, you got a second? Isn't this the guy that was getting into it with some group people over there? Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Oh, dude, you're hired. Let's go. You're pretty eager to throw in with somebody you barely know. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. 
If you're trying to convince me to hire you... No, that's a little rude. Let's see, uh... All these dialogue choices, and I love it. I've heard enough. You're hired. <laughs> wow. Huh. You don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. Well, see you back on the ship, buddy. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is gonna be great. <laughs> you got a crew now, Felix. Hell yeah. What the fuck? He just disappeared. <laughs> I'm assuming he just appeared into the ship. Do you have any more strings while you were out? I suppose if the crew's quarters fill up, we could hang hammocks in the cargo hold. Oh, stop being so sassy, Ada. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I want to talk to you about Sam. You know anything about the auto mechanical gathering dust in the janitor's closet? The unit is a cleaning Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Very nice. Uh, I picked up a distress call. Can you play for me? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... There's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth. The unemployed! For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. Oh, what? snap. Oh, no! No, no, no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. That's interesting. Uh... Let's see. No, let's go. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Let's go to the captain's quarters. I think it's this way. This is it, right? So this is the captain's quarters. Let's use terminal. Uh, message for Alex Hawthorne. No. Search terminal for Sam. From E. Blaine. Uh, this is just to let you know that I've been giving out the rest of that. You know. What to know. What the hell is this? Okay. Logs maybe? Let me just go ahead and start clicking things. I think there was another log now. All right. So. Acquire Phineas's science weapon. On the groundbreaker. Very nice. So let's. Oh, crap. I just put a bunch of stuff in here. Or I took a bunch of stuff. So let's go ahead and put that over there. That over there. I'll take off the old reliable since I'm not going to be needing that anytime soon. This I don't need. So where? Okay, there it is. This is. What's her name's outfit? I'm definitely putting this head in there too. That should be everything I think, right? All right, let's go. Hold on. Let me see. I really want to know how to activate this robot. Let me see. Felix. Oh, cool. So Felix has... A pretty heavy weapon. What is this? Parvati? Damn, that thing is strong. I might actually replace Parvati for him because he looks. He looks tough, dude. Speaking of which, I need to go talk to Parvati. There goes Felix. 
There goes Ellie. There goes Vicar Max. You know what? She's pro she's probably she's probably in the little mechanics area where she's at. There she is. Hey, Pravati. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Yeah, of course. What's up? So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages, I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. <laughs> but real sweet. Yeah, she's gay. Uh, comes from the heart, you say? Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. That's, that's sweet. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? She said hopeful. It's a real romantic poem. Made my chest hurt, kinda. Oh, she. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm so gonna hook them up. That is so sweet, dude. That's awesome. Sounds like she likes you. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. But speaking of which, what happened to the dude? I thought they were going to be a thing. Um, You're about the warmest person I've ever met. To hell with them. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Jun Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm going to change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here goes. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel. Who's... Who's Isabel? What? Is everything okay? They were... Close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. Ex-girlfriend, maybe? They were close, but not anymore. I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? It doesn't matter. It could Captain, have been I'm yesterday. Captain, I'm all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Uh, great idea. Drinking solves everything. <laughs> Dude, I freaking love some of the responses in this game. Uh, next time... Uh, you sh said you don't drink will you be all right i agree wouldn't it be easier to just talk to uh her about this isabel person maybe for you i start thinking about all the things she could say and my guts start crawling up my throat she likes I'm so her serious next time we're on the groundbreaker i aim to get a drink if i got to i'll do it on my lonesome but I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I'll buy you a drink, girl. But you really should go talk to her yourself. If you're serious about her, you should talk to her. I kind of want to do that right now, actually, while I'm here. All right. The Lost Hope it is. Where is the Lost Hope? You see we had a conveyor pull in? I suppose we'll find out here in a second. We're already here, so we might as well. You know what I mean? Uh, come. Gee, I wonder if that's a nod to Fallout. Vault 13. Fallout 1. It was blue with a big green number, too. Rest and go. Lost hope right there. How's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Okay, so what are we drinking? <laughs> You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. 
Let's just do it proper. Uh, I got it. I start with beer. I don't want her to get drunk. That's not going to help her at all. Yeah, you're not much of a drinker. Better start off slow with a beer. Oh, beer. I guess, yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good. I bet. Bottoms up. Think of it like a fizzy tea that's gone a little off. <laughs> ah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Uh, you'd be surprised. Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Pinning for June? What does that mean? I have no idea what that means. Um... Generally or specifically? Specifically. Definitely. Definitely specifically. Oh. Oh, why did I drink that? I mean, just with Junlei. I don't know what to do about us. So are they? Are they already dating? Start by telling me why her messages got you so unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Yeah, she likes her. That's sweet. What'd she actually write in the message? You haven't said. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad. How a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. There's probably her this sister. Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made or something her good mom. out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? I mean, if it's her mom. Ah, oh, that sucks. No, I don't. I don't think so, man. Well, maybe. Maybe she just wanted to let me know her preferences, in a less awkward way. But that made it more awkward. Yeah. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. I don't want to mess this up for her. Let's get you some water. <laughs> Come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. <laughs> Hydration. Here I come. Aw, this was just about to get fun. Shush you. <laughs> oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but oh, I'm so scared. You're in love, dude. Uh, what about me? No. What ab about what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we we get together and she gets bored of me? Uh. <laughs> Fuck if I know. I'm just here for the booze. <laughs> no, there's an easy way to get all these answers to those questions. There's nothing easy about about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. Nobody said it was easy, you but know I'm not it's easier than what you're thinking of. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? That's life, dude. If that happens, then it happens, but... You can't live life scared, man. You just have to go for it, man. Sometimes you'll fall, sometimes you won't. Sometimes it'll be for the better. Uh... So... So, are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? Or are you afraid of disappointing her? 
I think I'm gonna go with this. Of course. This. Wouldn't you be? Not really. I I wanna say this, but I feel because I do feel this way. Like, if you don't like me for who I am, then you're not for me in that way, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like if I say it here, it's gonna come out a little too aggressive, so I don't wanna say it that. You know what? I'm gonna say it. I hope I don't screw this up for her. I envy your boldness of spirit, Captain. I can only hope a little bit of it rubs off on me. But, gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. You got it, dude. You Sometimes just gotta find it in yourself. Mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. Everybody does. We all do. Well, I suppose so, but I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person. You already are. For. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Uh, so are you gonna ask her out? Oh, gosh. I... I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Absolutely. You're still unsure? Yes. Just ask her, dude. Yeah, you know what? You don't need my opinion. I believe in you. You need to believe in yourself. Do whatever you feel is right for yourself. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. Woohoo! Yeah! I'm gonna ask June out. <laughs> Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. <laughs> Thanks for hearing me out and uh, giving anytime. me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. I love this girl. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. This was fun. We should do it again after you send that message. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? Is Ellie gay too? <laughs> like... I, wish... <laughs> I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Hell yeah. Good job, Parvati. I'm happy for you. What does Ellie have to say about this? Something on your mind? Uh... You know what? Yeah, I never asked her all these questions. If we're going to work together, I'd like to know more about you. I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Ah, oh, that Not explains. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. That's why she was so for drinking. What's a zero-G cocktail? It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. Usually zero-G brew with some Spectrum vodka if you're lucky. Purple berry shake if you're not. Inventive. I like it. I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. <laughs> That's awesome. Do you have much experience contracting with other captains? Sure do. Some of it was even legal. Damn. What's... Uh... What's that supposed to mean? There's a lot of business that goes through the Groundbreaker. Some of it's board-authorized freight hauling, and some of it's not. I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. Very nice. Sounds reasonable. Glad to hear it. It's worked for me this long. Uh, I was hoping... Something more personal about you. Well, my blood type is AB positive. I'm a Leo. Hey, me and too. I despise Space Hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. That about covers it. She's a Leo and I'm a Leo. I think that's why I like her. We're very, both very dominant personalities. Uh, where are you from? How'd you get this uh, into this line of work? Oh, come on. That stuff's boring. You're deflecting. Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. Makes sense. I can respect that. She'll open up eventually. Let's get back to business no then. No complaints here. Uh, let's head back to the ship for... No, okay. fuck! Okay, see you around. I, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, Ellie. Let's go get her back. <laughs> We gotta get out of here anyways. Rizzo's got a neat 
This game is so freaking awesome, and I'm so proud of her body, man. It takes a lot of courage to do something like that. Come on, Parvati. Oh, whoa, where are we? I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. What? What are you guys talking about? Aetherwave serial? Okay, okay, okay. So I was watching this program. You know Princess of Hephaestus? That late show about the freedom fighter with a pure heart and a mean right hook? She finally kissed her sweetheart, Miss Yuko. <laughs> wow, are you serious? I got a good copy of that. Um. Good to okay. see you, boss. Uh, I'll ask. I'll ask later. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother. No, you long. weren't. I did have fun. And I tried some things I never would have otherwise. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. <laughs> I'm glad I had you looking out for me. Anytime. Uh, did you talk to Junlei? I messaged Junlei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. She's all excited. So I sweet. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. <laughs> okay, that's not so bad so far. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. So Junlei does like you. And she said it in the blood. Uh I think I'm just gonna go with this. Go! Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. <laughs> I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, <laughs> thanks for taking me out, Captain. That is awesome! Oh, I'm so happy for her, guys. Like, for real, for real. This Roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call. And whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. Do we know anything about the ones who sent this? What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. Tough luck for them, but maybe an opportunity for us. Uh, why wouldn't they just call for corporate reinforcements? With a lot of these companies, the thrashing you take from your boss is worse than whatever a bunch of marauders will do to you. Doesn't exactly encourage calling for aid when there's a fuck up. Someone needs help, Ellie, and we're going to give it to him. It could be a trap. I'm counting on it. She's a badass. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there. See if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. Absolutely. But alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. We actually did a lot more than I thought we were going to do. We ended up uh, completing a mission. And we got uh, Parvati to get, you know, with her love, man. And it's pretty amazing. I feel I'm so happy for her, man. That's something about this game that I'm really, really enjoying. It's making me care about these characters, these companions, a lot. And it's it's pretty awesome. It's been a while since I felt that way about video game characters uh, in this way. So that's a that's an amazing thing. And I'm happy, I'm happy that this game is this way. It's such a good game, guys. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you're enjoying this video, 
or this series, do me a huge favor and drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help the channel a lot. Catch you guys on the next video. Deuces.